case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2008, a highly disputed case in Reteflon Products liability litigation went before the United States District Court for the Southern District of Iowa. The litigation stemmed from allegations made against DuPont, a reputable manufacturing company, for allegedly marketing false and deceptive safety claims about their Teflon-coated cookware. The crux of the issue was whether the plaintiffs could successfully achieve class certification in their lawsuit against DuPont. Under Rule 23, a class certification requires satisfaction of specific conditions, including typicality and adequacy of representation, as well as the presence of common questions surpassing individual inquiries. The lawsuit was triggered by the plaintiffs, who argued that exposure to the synthetic chemical PFOA, known to be released when the Teflon-coated cookware is heated, could lead to flu-like symptoms and possible congenital disabilities. They claimed that DuPont was aware of these potential risks, yet failed to disclose them, thereby misrepresenting the safety of their products. DuPont vehemently pushed back, asserting the plaintiffs couldn't establish typicality, as the impact and experiences of individual consumers varied greatly. A case-by-case -case exploration would be necessary, undermining the basis for a class action suit. After thorough consideration, the court sided with DuPont, rejecting the plaintiff's endeavor for class certification concerning all alleged class actions. It ruled that the plaintiff's allegations demanded an individualized inquiry that was inconsistent from one complainant to the other, thereby negating the typicality requirement. The court also found that plaintiffs' attempt to forego certain potential claims further jeopardized their adequacy to represent the class. However, to ensure justice was served to potential victims, the court suspended the statutes of limitations for 90 days. During this period, individuals who believed they suffered similar harm and met the requisite criteria were given the chance to file separate complaints in the suitable federal or state district court. This contentious case helped delineate the requirements needed for class certification, shedding light on the importance of typicality and adequate representation for future litigants. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.